Welcome back. It's Kara Newhart from Never Skip Brunch, and today we're doing some DIY functional decor for the patio. I'm going to show you how to make a bookshelf herb garden that's super simple and adds greenery and texture to both large and small outdoor spaces. This project's beginner friendly, so let's get started. So first we're gonna get these deck boards cut down to size. They're already pressure treated and weather resistant. I'm gonna cut five shelves that are 24 inches long and then two side posts that are gonna be 75 inches tall, but you can totally customize this to fit your space. Start by cutting two boards to size to be the sides of the plant bookshelf. Here's a pro tip, cut the very end of the board off before you measure. So you're starting with a clean cut edge that is straight and square. Don't forget to wear your safety gear and follow instructions carefully when operating your power tools. Next, cut the shelves. I created five shelves that are 24 inches long, but you can customize this to fit your space. You'll also need a top piece the same length. To attach the frame and shelves together, I used a combination of wood screws and pocket hole screws. Pocket holes help eliminate visible screw lines and are a great beginner woodworking technique. I drilled pocket holes in each end of my shelf boards and the top board using the Craig pocket hole jig. To assemble the frame, start by lining up the top board and one of the side boards to form a 90 degree angle with the top board butting up against the side of the longer board. Clamp the boards in place using a speed square. This will help hold everything together as you drive in both pocket screws. If you'd rather not use pocket screws, simply drive a two and a half inch wood screw into the top board starting outside on the long board and driving screws through the outer board and into the top board. Attach on both sides. Your boards will form a U-shape and the open ends are the bottom of your shelf unit. Next, create an angled wedge using a scrap wood board to help install the shelves evenly. I cut a 1x6 piece scrap wood to a 30 degree angle. For this bookshelf, the shelves are installed at a slight angle so the plants can angle outwards and up with plenty of space to grow. Using this wedge, you can clamp it to the inside of the frame of your plant bookshelf. You can then line up your shelf against the wedge you can install shelves with pocket holes or wood screws. Measure out your desired shelf placement on the frame of the bookshelf and insert your shelves. Mine are about 13 inches apart. Then, clamp the edge to the inside frame of your plant bookshelf. Line up your shelf against the wedge, pressing it flush against the angle. Once your shelf is in position, drive pocket hole screws or a wood screw through to secure the shelf. Here's what it looks like when your frame is all assembled and put together. Now for some brackets. We're adding aluminum bars to the front of the bookshelf to hold the planter pots in place. These can be cut easily with a miter saw. Just measure the bar on the front of the shelf and mark them flush with the outside edges of the shelf. Then cut them down to size. Once the bars are cut to size, line them up on the face of the bookshelf and mark the middle on the frame board. We'll drill a hole here so we can attach the bar to the bookshelf using a screw. To drill the hole, use a drill and a drill bit that's made from metal. Clamp the bar in place on a work table with a scrap board underneath it. Drill one hole in both ends of each aluminum bar. If you like the wood look of the pressure treated wood, you can leave it as is. But if you want to customize it to your space, you can paint it using a deck paint or waterproofing sealer. I went with a sealer from Bear that can be customized to match your favorite paint color. This was the existing color used to paint the deck, so it was perfect for giving the bookshelf a seamless look. Pro tip, you want to make sure the pressure treated lumber is fully dry before you paint. Pick lumber boards that are as dry as possible if you're buying in store or let your bookshelf sit outside in the sun for to dry fully before you paint. Give the bookshelf one to two coats and let dry fully in between. I chose to paint the aluminum bars gold for a more modern look. The first step is to prime them with a clean metal primer. You want to apply this evenly and let it dry fully. This will help the gold spray paint adhere and stick well. These are the two paints that I'm using. And next up is the gold. Once the primer's dry, apply the gold to the bars, evenly letting it dry, and I recommend sealing with a gloss polyurethane for a waterproof finish. Next, we're attaching the bars to the frame with a one and a fourth inch wood screw. I place the thicker bar about an inch from the shelf and the top bar about a half inch above it for a layered look. Drive the wood screws through the bars and into the frame to secure. 
These bars add a modern touch and help ensure that our pots stay steady on the angled shelves. They should look like this. Next up, you want to grab some planters. These can all match or you can mix and match them to add interest. Just make sure the planter fits well on your shelf. I made sure the base of the planter fit on the shelf and the bars held it securely in place. Then you can grab your favorite plants or blooms, from herbs to flowers or whatever you want to add. I snagged mine from Home Depot and started planting them into my planter pots. I got a mix of florals, herbs, and greenery that has amazing texture and color. I planted them all into these little pots. You can customize these however you want. If you want to add soil or trim, let's go mount this plant shelf and then we can add the plants. I'm attaching this shelf to a deck. It's pretty thick and sturdy, but I want to make sure to anchor it to a stud so that it's steady. You could also add screws on the bottom of the shelf to ensure it doesn't move. To anchor my shelf, I bent a corner brace to a 30 degree angle with the help of a clamp. I'm attaching this up and under one of the shelves so that it's hidden, anchoring to a stud in the wall, and then using wood screws to attach it to the shelf. Now that the shelf is securely attached, I can start to add my plants. You'll see the angle helps the plant tip outwards, giving it more room to grow and making it much easier to water. Arrange your pots on the plant bookshelf. You can style them with varying color and height options or position them more practically based on watering needs or lighting needs. Next, you can give your plants water as needed and enjoy the greenery, color, and texture that you added to your outdoor space with your new plant bookshelf. Plants might just be the perfect patio decor. They add texture, color, and liven up any outdoor space. This shelf is perfect for both large and small spaces, leveraging vertical space to showcase your favorite plants. The design is easy to customize to perfectly fit your space, and you could even utilize this plant bookshelf as a dual purpose privacy wall. I can't wait to see how you make it your own. If you like this DIY workshop video, pop the thumbs up and hit the red subscribe button down below so you can stay in the loop with more workshop projects just like this. Head over to homedepot.com to find more projects and you can find me on Instagram at Never Skip Brunch or TikTok at Kara Newhart.